Okay, day. let's work out this vector problem. We have three position vectors given to us. We have the column matrices representing their location. So OA is 2, negative 2, OB 6, 1, and OC is 4, 4. We are asked in part A to draw these vectors. So that's what we are going to do. So draw these vectors. We have to resort to using our graph page for accuracy. And OA is 2, negative 2. So the first number on top is positive 2. That comes from the x-axis. Negative 2 comes from the y-axis over here. So I've circled them. So we are drawing our vector coming out of the origin. Because it's a position vector, it begins with O. So it has to start from the origin. So it goes from... 0 to the point 2, negative 2, which is about there. And we have to put arrowhead. And we will put A here. So this is OA. Okay. Let's do OB now. 6, 1. The number on top is 6, comes from the x axis. The 1, positive 1, comes from the y-axis. I've circled them. And we are drawing our vector coming out of the origin again. And going up to the point 6, 1. Okay. Which is about there. Remember to put the arrowhead. And this is point B here. So OB is our second vector and our last vector OC 4 4 first number is positive 4 a number on top that is the number below is our y number which I have circled another 4 and we are drawing our vector coming out of the origin and going up to the point 4 4 which is about here okay Draw your R and put C. So we have completed part A of the question. And um, you can see our vectors here. Let's remove the graph page so you can see more clearly. Part B now express as a column matrix A, B, and A, C. Okay, so we have to remember that. When we are doing vectors, think about a vector as a road. And we are walking down this road. So let's say, in order to get from point A to point B, I'll draw a green line here connecting point A to point B. Alright. Put an arrow here. Let's say we have to get from point A to point B. We can go down this road from A to O and then go up the road from O to B and we will reach point B, right? So I am writing, in order to get from A to B, you can go from A to O. Okay. And then you can go from O to B. We have seen here. So we go from A to O and then from O to B. Okay. Now we have to do some vector addition. So let's look at AO and let's see what to do. Now OA is 2, negative 2. So AO will have to be the, the negative of OA. Right? The negative of 2, negative 2. Because we are going in the opposite direction. Okay. So we are adding that to OB, which is 6, 1. Given above here, right? This is OB here. Already given as 6, 1. Remember how you added your matrices? So multiplying our negative by a positive is a negative. So we will have negative 2 on top. And minus minus 2 is positive 2. Okay, so negative 2 on top, positive 2 below, plus 6, 1. 
Okay. We add the numbers that are in the same positions. So we add the two numbers on top, negative 2 plus 6. Add the two numbers below, positive 2 plus 1. And we get negative 2 plus 6 is positive 4. And 2 add 1 is positive 3. So this is our answer for part 1. A, B. Okay. So A, B is equal to 4, 3. Let's look at part 2 now with A, C. So I'm doing that over here. A, C. So using a purple line, I'm connecting A to C. In a purple arrow. So if I want to get from A to C, I can go down this road, A to O, and then go up the road O to C. Okay? So I can go down A O and then go up O C. So think of vectors as roads, right? And think of the letters as places. So you want to move from this point A to this point C. We first move from point A to point O and then move from point O to point C. So let's write that down, that AC is equal to AO plus OC. We already worked out AO over here. This is AO, we got it to be negative two and positive 2. So we're going to use that. So we have negative 2, positive 2. And we add in that to OC, which is OC is over here. Okay. 4, 4. Add the numbers on top, the x numbers, so we have negative 2 plus 4 on top. Okay, so these are the two numbers that we added, this one, this one, okay. And then we add the numbers below, which is positive 2 plus 4. Okay, so we just added these two numbers, positive 2 plus 4. So our answer is negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2 and 4 plus 2 is positive 6. Okay, so this will give us our AC. Alright, AC is equal to 2, 6. So I hope this was informative and good luck in your studies.